at the show. We've got a great show tonight. My first guest is an athlete turned music and entertainment impresario. He's also the only guy I've ever seen in my life to have his release from prison advertised on a billboard. Please welcome Suge Knight, everybody! I think what we all want to know is, did you really hang Vanilla Ice out the window by his ankle? I don't recall that one. You don't recall that one? Right. I don't either. I was in the bathroom. I didn't see anything. I didn't see nothing. I was in the bathroom. You played football at the University of uh, Nevada, Las Vegas. Right. You were a mother, man. You brought it. Right. You think you could strap it on? Look, we got a photo of Shug. Oh, Look at Shug, ready to kill a photo man. Yeah, yeah. You think you could play? Ferocious. Ferocious. I think the most important thing when you play football is you get the quarterback, you stick your hand in his in his helmet and peel the skin back off his. Right, you yeah. have to do that. Yeah. Why don't they teach guys today when you tackle the quarterback, rip the skin off his right. face? Right. Right. Yeah. You think you could you could strap up today and play uh, NFL football? Yeah, I think I could strap up and um, intimidate most of those. Yeah, you know, who's going to block Shug? The first play is the most important play. <laughs> I think we can make a few deals, and I'll be okay. Look, let me get like three, four sacks. <laughs> I'll let you get a few blocks, and we, you know, enjoy. I'll make it lighter on yourself. Yeah, right. you know, I'll take care of you. We're gonna take a commercial. We're gonna come right back with Shug Knight. We got a special guest also, so stay with us. All right. <laughs> we just listened to a rapper named Crooked Eye. Crooked Eye, the best. He with the, the row. West. He's definitely with the row. He's definitely he's with the row now. Crooked Eye is definitely the best in the West Coast. Not saying he's not better than any other rappers in the other coast. But you gotta take care of home first. A lot of people are so busy trying to be in, on the East Coast and the South. First, you gotta take care of your backyard. And by far, Crooked Eye is definitely the best in the West. Well, we're gonna see Crooked Eye later. We got a little special treat for everybody. Crooked Eye is gonna come out and hang with us. I wanna and, ask you. And put you on the spot, make you freestyle or something. You know? Yeah, we'll do that. We, we got time for that. Don't worry. I wanted to ask you if you were in prison, do you think I would make a good cellmate? <laughs> Be with oh, you. you just started looking at me entirely differently. Yeah, I, have to, I have to look at you a whole different way because I started saying, well, you know what? Everybody have a talent. I look at you and say, well, you know, you, pay, you might not beat no guys up. Could you draw? Could you carry Could a guy? Could I draw? Could you wash? Could you do laundry? I'll do your laundry. Oh, that's if you all were me, yeah. I'd be like, hey, people say, what are you doing? I'm like, Shug's laundry problem. That's all good. <laughs> you know what they don't say? No, no problem exactly. whatsoever. Let's see some of these tattoos you got, Shug. You got uh, some of the greatest tattoos we've I ever mean, seen. I mean, I gotta have, you know, right here say, make God enemies, my enemies, make God friends, my friends. Definitely gotta have mama. Oh, I mama. got Tupac. Rest in peace, know. Tupac. Yeah. Come on, y'all. You do a Mother's Day. You guys, you guys should know this. You do a very special thing every Mother's Day. Every Mother's Day I do for all the single mothers to bring their kids to come out. And it's a nice dinner. They get roses. They get performance by, like, New artists, old artists, different celebrities come by. It's not just for the mothers, it's also for the kids because a lot of, a lot of the kids who, say a mother is a single mother, and on Mother's Day she don't get no roses, she don't get no gifts, and she might have like four or five kids, and she like mad, so she look, she be like, you know, you look like your daddy, get out of here, right? right. So she upset. So what I, what I decided to do way back in the day is do the single Mother's Day dinner and show the love and let them know, okay, we care about you. And if, if it's not a father there, the mother care about you. So it grows a long way. And, and one of the most touching things we did one year, Pac got up and Pac performed Dear Mother, Mama for everyone. And he actually went out in the audience and he, he you know, he hugged the mother and he hugged the kids. And Ron actually came in, he done his thing and the new artists and their thing. And it was really, really great. Where do you have this party? The Beverly Wilson Hotel. The nice, Beverly high Hills. class. Definitely. You know, everyone's like afraid of you, like you're this uh, monster on wheels. We went out, with, and you, we were seeing an entirely different side of Shug, which is great, why we wanted you on the show. We went out to uh, barber shops, and we right. asked uh, questions at black barber shops, right. and I want you to see this, this one question we asked someone at the black barber shop. Who would you rather share a sleeping bag with, Bobby Knight or Shug Knight? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Knight, man. Now, you don't even want to say Suge Knight on camera. I didn't even look to the camera to say that, man. It's like the candy man. Bobby Knight, man. <laughs> What's with you guys? They don't know the shit that I know. Maybe they don't know I'm willing to be your lawyer. Now, here's the point. You know, it's like, you know, you my brother, so it's all good. We're going to do what we do. I, I, like I, really, you, I really enjoy your show, the simple fact that 
young and youthful. So it's time for like a lot of old heads get out the business and make way for the youngsters. That's like, you know, make I'm way all, for me, you mean. Exactly, at me, because, you know, I'm also getting to the boxing game. I got my Yeah, you're going to promote fighter. boxing. Right. You got crook, let's bring Crooked Eye. Crooked eye. We got Crooked Eye, best on the West Coast. <laughs> I love Crooked Eye already, already. See the respect on the block already started. Already, huh? You ever disagree with Shug? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to be a boxing promoter. You got to work something out like when uh, you know Roy Jones comes into the to the ring to some hip hop. You got to have Crooked Eye bring some of your fighters well, you out. You don't want to the thing about it. Crooked Eye is definitely going to do some exciting stuff. I don't care who agree with it, who disagree with it. You know, Tyson, that guy, he always going to do a song for Tyson. Pac always did a song for Tyson. And every time Tyson went to a fight, you know, we was there supporting. Right. Actually, that would got me nine years leaving a Tyson fight. So, but, uh... <laughs> so Tyson's fighting in Memphis. Well, come on, man. Freestyle. What's up? Well, you know, we go, we go putting something together, you know what I'm well, saying? But, uh... Ah, let me see. Crooked eye, pop cowards with nine millimeters of Glock power. Drop trousers, do your girl in a hot shower for a hot hour. Drop her off at the watch towers, the block's hours. You seeing me not now or never. I never let them player haters take me. Blow out brains to entertain me when I'm angry. Don't tangle, I choke, strangle, break both ankles. Dangle you from a rope, close, hang you from a cold angle. The mangler is so anxious to kill, able to spill. Ancient language is dangerous as 80 pain killing pills. Young Jacker, keep my new hat all tatted crooked eyes the one the death rolls out of matted <laughs> <laughs>